Hello everyone, my name is Ted Shao, and today I'll be presenting Thinking While Moving, Deep Reinforcement Learning with Concurrent Control. This work was done with my colleagues at Robotics at Google and Google X. In today's world, robot agents are able to do many impressive tasks, ranging from manipulation to navigation to complex grasping tasks. However, in many common scenarios, robotic agents operate very slowly because they must pause to observe the world and contemplate between every single action. However, in the real world, the environment is continuously changing. Humans and animals operate in dynamic environments where we don't have the luxury of pausing the world to consider what to do next. Instead, we must think while moving. In concurrent environments like the real world, the external environment continues to evolve even as our agent is thinking. Agents that can operate in such settings would not only be faster and smoother than their blocking counterparts, but also able to perform a wider variety of dynamic tasks that simply aren't feasible in a blocking setting. So, can we learn in concurrent environments? In this work, we show that in fact the answer is yes. We show that when we apply our methods to real-world robots, we can learn policies that are fast and smooth. We'll return to neat real-world results shown here in a moment, but first, let's dive deeper into the differences between blocking and concurrent environments. In many deep reinforcement learning settings, we assume that actions are blocking, this is the environment diagram highlighted on the left. The different colored arrows represent different stages in the environment interaction cycle. The blue and red arrows represent state capture and policy inference, which are done sequentially. In blocking environments, we assume that these two stages occur instantaneously. So we assume that the environment state that we observe and pass on to our policy is the exact same state in which we execute our policy selected action. Essentially, we freeze the world while observing and thinking and then unfreeze the world only when executing actions. In settings such as sequential decision-making environments, video games, and robotic simulations, this observe, think, act paradigm is valid. In contrast, in more realistic concurrent action environments, we no longer have the luxury of instantaneous state capture and policy inference. Instead, when we observe state and run inference, the environment continues to evolve. As our agent thinks of the next action to send, the previous action continues to affect the environment. To learn in such environments, we introduce concurrent knowledge models. These condition on additional features that encapsulate information about the concurrent nature of the environment. In the context of off-policy value-based learning, we show that our updated concurrent Q function is able to maintain theoretical convergence guarantees. More details can be found in our paper. Applying these results to a practical task, we demonstrate our concurrent knowledge models on a simulated grasping task. We began with our blocking baseline models that achieve reasonable grasp success, but are fairly slow, even when optimizing for faster policies. Next, when we allow the actions to be executed concurrently, the baseline models do worse. Only by using concurrent knowledge features do we learn policies that perform well with concurrent actions. In fact, these concurrent knowledge models are able to actually learn policies that are, that are almost 40% faster than the blocking baseline models. The biggest difference between these models is best perhaps interpreted visually. The concurrent knowledge model is able to move quickly and fluidly, even changing grip or direction while it is moving. In contrast, the blocking model must stop and decelerate between every action. The concurrent knowledge model executes trajectories that are twice as fast as the blocking model. Even when, we, when the concurrent model misses the target object, it's able to quickly correct and attempt another grasp. We have a full video available with many more grasps in the simulation and real world settings. In conclusion, we presented a concurrent Q learning framework to analyze these methods in continuous and discrete time. We demonstrated that our concurrent knowledge models perform well in practical tasks, both in simulation and the real world. We, show, we saw faster and smoother policies that look more fluid and human-like. We hope that these results might be the initial steps towards robots that, just like animals and humans, can act and think in complex, dynamic environments. Thank you.